The wind coming with this warm up, it's kind of aiding in this warm up, but because we had those gusty winds, there is a red flag warning, which means sparks can quickly turn into flames, which can quickly spread across the area. So just don't burn. Today is not the day to do it. Right now, gusts are quiet here in central Iowa, but starting to pick up already out to the west into those mid 20s. But as we go through the afternoon, that's when things really start to ramp up up to the northwest. That's where we'll find the speediest of the winds could even get up to 40, 45 miles per hour. Per hour. We're sticking closer to around 30 here in the metro, but we still have that moderate risk here in our area. Through the overnight, the risk stays generally out to the northwest, but it does spread our direction as we get into tomorrow afternoon. So today is the higher risk. Tomorrow is just a heightened risk of those fires spreading quickly. So just be smart about it. We still have 58 active bird vans across the state of Iowa. It does include Polk County. Right now it is nice and quiet out there, but that moon is is full and is bright. It peaks at 626. It is the hunter moon this month. Right now we have 41 degrees. It feels like 35 thanks to those winds already checking in at 10 miles per hour. Much warmer than what we had yesterday. We were talking about the low 20s. Carol, you're in the low 40s at this point. Ains 34. So we're feeling a little bit better than we did yesterday morning. We still have this high pressure in charge. And if you take a look way out to the west, there is a cold front. This is going to try and pass some rain in the northwest Iowa tomorrow night. However, it's not going to make its way into central Iowa. We're just going to have those speedy winds this afternoon. Notice how quickly those particles are moving. We'll get into those low 70s before things start to drop off. We will have mostly clear skies overnight, but the clouds will start to work into the west tomorrow afternoon. By tomorrow evening, we could see some rain in our northwestern part of the state, but we stay dry here in central Iowa, just warm. And our fans continue to be spoiled for Friday night blitz. We have very comfortable temperatures, clear skies, no rain for us here for the entire game. The clouds do start to build in as we go through the overnight hours with the rain limited off to the northwest. It will be pretty mild as you step out compared to where we've been this week. This weekend's looking pretty good, but those pumpkin patches are going to be toasty on Sunday. We'll see the upper 70s with those winds out of the southwest about 5 to 15. A little more moisture and a little quieter winds means that fire risk does go down both Saturday and Sunday. Today, mostly sunny 70 degrees with that high fire danger. Those gusts 35 to 40 miles per hour. Tonight, the wind stays elevated 10 to 15 as we drop down into those 40s, but clear skies and you can still enjoy that moon in all its glory tonight. We do peek into the temperature department on Sunday. Rain chance still holding on Monday night into Tuesday, but even with that rain chance, Joseph, it's not a lot of rain.